last full day in Dublin. We're starting it off at a little coffee shop for a little pick-me-up. We both had some solid workouts this morning because we've been eating and drinking very aggressively. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. We're ready. So we are starting off the day right with the world famous fish and chips that everyone has been saying we have to go to this one spot. It opens at noon. We're gonna go there. We're gonna split it because apparently it's huge. And then at 1.30 we're doing a Jameson distillery tour, which is gonna be phenomenal. And then from there we gotta go on the subway to get to the dart train to get to house which is almost like a little peninsula off above Dublin and there's supposed to be like waterside restaurants and pubs and it's like a fishing town so that'll be cool Let's go. Dublin is a busy busy city huh a lot of stuff going on so the Alberta they opened in 1913 and apparently the portion size of fish and chips is so big that Two people should split one. So that's what we're gonna do. So that means I have to let you share mine? Who said it's yours? It's mine, I'm sharing with you. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Fish and chips in hand. I'm pretty sure we were the first customers in Leo Burdock today. I hope so, because we got there four minutes before it even opened, and the guy was like, oh, hey, <laughs> come on in. We had a nice chat with some, some of the locals in there. The employee there, who was super nice, said that there's a park about three streets up. We're ready to go. What is the park called? St. Patrick's. Oh, St. Patrick's Park. Yeah. Here we go. So we were a little nervous on time because we have the Jameson Distillery Tour at 1.15 and we were getting fish and chips at 12. Uh, just to let you guys know, it literally took three minutes to get the fish and chips. Now we're at the park, about to eat, and it's 12.05. <laughs> Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh my god. That's you can hear amazing. you can hear the crunch. There's so much meat in there. Look at how fat and juicy that fish looks. <laughs> I can mm. see I can see the steam coming off of it. I don't think I've ever had fish and chips like this. In a good way? It's so good. Alright. It's not overly fried, it's not overly greasy. Like, doesn't feel heavy, but it's still somehow so crispy and crunchy on the outside. It's not mushy, like, you know, sometimes you get it, it's all gross and mushy, or you get it and it's like this thin. This thing is huge. This is amazing. All, all right. right, my turn. I'm gonna try one without the tartar sauce first, just to get. That's good. That's really good. It's nice and flaky. Tastes fresh. Nice dollop of sauce on there. Mm -hmm. Perfect combination. There's just so much fish in there. It's so juicy. I've had very good fish and chips, obviously. Nope, that's amazing. Yeah. So much better. Would you say that this is the best fish and chips you've ever had? It's a pretty big statement there. I would take that risk. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I'm right there with you. This is incredible. It's a nice day. You look nice. <laughs> Thank you. There's a lady across from us with a leash on her child. A double strap leash to kind of just like the single backpack kind. <laughs> it's an open park. What, what's gonna happen? Oh my God, look at that dog. I feel like I've been eating for like 20 minutes and there's still so much left. Wow. Perfect mix of fried, salty, and meaty. <laughs> You know what goes great to help wash down some fish and chips? What's that? Jameson. <laughs> On our way to the Jameson Distillery. Guys, one thing you need to know about me is that I hate having change. Like I hate having coins. And in Europe, you carry a ton of coins. Ugh. So we have a 
1.30 tasting and we have about five minutes before that, so we decided to have a little tasting ourselves. I've got the powers. Uh, he said usually you pair powers with Guinness. However, because we're gonna have a whole tasting in about 10 minutes, I, I think I should skip out on the beer part. <laughs> Let's just do the one. I got the Red Breast 12 year old. These are two whiskeys that we will not be having on the tour, so we figured we'll do it now. Happy last day in Ireland. It has a high caramel taste to it, definitely. It? Yes. Which makes it a little easier to drink, not as fumy as you might get with some of the whiskeys. A little bit sweeter. It's very good. Very, very good. That was such a professional uh, analysis there. Oh my god, I'm nervous. The red breast 12 year old. That's like, try to say that like 10 times fast. The red breast 12 year old, the red breast 12 year old. Okay. Check it out. Oh man, that's so smooth. It's very, very smooth. So there's a little bit of sherry in there. Sherry. Thanks for coming. The Jemison Crested is actually only available in seven markets at the minute. The Distillery Edition and the Black Barrel Cask Check. You guys won't find these anywhere else in the world. Cheers. 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 No filtration has happened to this. So this comes from a cask and goes straight into the bottle. Put the water from your glass and pop it into the cask check. And if you're happy with it as it is, you don't have to. If you do want to just like, pop it. It's my favorite. It's in the distillery edition and it lasts for so long. For so long. It's my favorite because you can have just a little sip and it'll last forever. I'll see you later. Guys, they're kicking us out. But I'm taking one. Oh my god. A little tipsy now, but hey. No big deal. We had the Jameson Irish Whiskey. We had the Jameson Crested. We had, what else do we have? The Jameson Distillery Edition, which is not available to us in the US. It's only here. And the Jameson Black Barrel Cask Strength, which was super, super strong, judging by its name and its taste, because we just had some. So you said your favorite was the... Distillery. Was the distillery? Mm -hmm. So that was the third one we tried, right? It was. And that's the one that lasted the longest? Um, you could say so. It was yeah. a little on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. um, it was more of the pineapple and melon notes. Nice. So you like it a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. I really like the black barrel because it was super strong um, and it was unlike anything I've ever had before. So our tour guide, Cullum, was awesome. He was super informative, really funny, super nice, and uh, yeah. He was okay with us bringing our camera in and, you know, filming everything. So we're heading onto the train right now. We're heading to Health. We have arrived. First stop on the agenda, food. Food, because I'm really hungry. Rebecca's hungry. Yeah. I'll eat too. It's a beautiful uh, coastal little town here. You can smell the fresh salt water. So based on all of your recommendations through Instagram, we decided to stop into a place called Octopussy, and it's a tapas style seafood place. Super excited. We just had a full Jameson tasting. We can't stop now. Heck no, it's only 4.30 in the afternoon. This is just the beginning. Ordered a lot of food. Get ready. Starting off with some ever so casual seafood chowder. There's a ton of stuff in here. There's pancetta, there's mussels, there's squid, there's prawns, there's scallops, you name it. It's in here. These are the whiskey scallops and they're lathered in 
whiskey Irish butter. Oh my god. Holy crap, these scallops are amazing. You can taste the whiskey in there. And it's so sweet, but not too sweet. Oh my god, tasting this and looking out there, it's just pure bliss right now. So these are the Irish crab claws in lemon and garlic butter. And last but not least, we got the char-grilled Dublin Bay prawns with the shallon. So many of them, unbelievable. I can die right now and be very, very happy. We've got a lot more exploring to do. We've still got to go back to London. We got Amsterdam, Prague, Copenhagen. You better stick around. All right, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Good stuff, huh? Yeah, it was so good. So good. So, so good. Staff was so super glad. friendly, so much fish. And our waitress, Claire, said hi and knew us from Devour Power, which was a really cute surprise. It was really cool. Going through the scaffolding right yeah. now on the water. <laughs> All right, we're gonna walk around and check out Houth Harbor right now. guys thanks for coming along with us today on our crazy eating and drinking journey <laughs> adventure it's our last day in Ireland I know it's been awesome we're heading back to London for three days something like days. that yeah and then after London we're going to Amsterdam Prague lastly Copenhagen and then back to New York City Thank you for watching. Comment below, let us know what you liked most about this video, whether it was the Jameson or all the seafood or the trains. Maybe you love trains, that was a cool train. Until next time guys, Devour Power, out.